So I had pretty bad acne for 12 to 13 years, and it didn't really improve until I changed a few things. Following a proper skincare routine was instrumental in helping to clear my skin. Hi. For those of you who are new here, my name is Matty, and I'm a male model physiotherapist. And in this video, I will be sharing with you both my daytime and nighttime skincare routine. I had acne from the age of about 13, 14. This is sort of the age when most boys start puberty. And I didn't follow a proper skincare routine until the age of about 26. My skin would have been so much better if I had actually followed a skincare routine. Let me tell you what I used to do. I used a hard exfoliant scrub twice a day. This probably damaged my skin because when I used to actually get acne pimples on my face, I used to use the scrub and really just like rub it in, thinking that I could scrub off the acne, which of course is a terrible idea. You never want to scrub your acne and you never want to pop your pimples. It can also cause the formation of acne scars. I also didn't use any moisturizer, or very rarely did I ever use moisturizer. And I didn't use sun cream either because I was so confident in my ability to tan. And I can't believe I didn't do this, but I would not clean my face after exercise. I just let the sweat sit there and permeate, which is probably why my skin was so bad back in the day. There are five basic things that you need. The first thing that you will need is a daily cleanser. Recent studies have shown that double cleansing is the most effective. So I use a oil-based and a water-based or gentle skin cleanser. The purpose of the cleanser is to remove any excess oils or dirt. You also want an exfoliant. Now a chemical exfoliant is recommended and I'm looking into this at the moment, but currently I'm still using a gentle scrub exfoliant, which isn't ideal, but it's better than not using any exfoliant at all. You want to use this about two to three times a week. It basically helps to remove dead skin cells and unbox. Awesome. The third thing that you want is a moisturizer and SPF. So at the moment I use a combined moisturizer SPF, factor 50, but recent studies have shown that it's more effective to use a separate moisturizer and a separate SPF. So I'm definitely looking into that as well. What you can do is then mix the SPF together with the moisturizer. The moisturizer forms a protective barrier over the skin that keeps the skin hydrated and prevents breakouts. Now the SPF is essential for protecting the skin from the harmful UV rays from the sun. Additionally, the UV rays from the sun can actually make acne more irritable and more red. It ages the skin and can cause hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you've seen like older Asian ladies or older Asian men and they get what appears to look like freckles on their face, but it's not actually freckles. Rather, it's this skin damage that's accumulated over the years. The fourth thing that you want is a benzoyl peroxide or acne side. It targets the acne causing bacteria directly. Essentially, it dries the pimple out. It unblocks pores, blackheads, and whiteheads. And the fifth product that you want to have is a retinol. Now, there are a bunch of different products out there containing retinol. If you're just starting out, I'd recommend something like CeraVe, which is 0.5% retinol, which is like the lowest effective dose that you can have. But if you want a stronger dose, you can use tretinoin, which is a combined retinol and antibiotic. But you will need a prescription from your GP or your doctor to get this. Essentially what the retinol does is increase skin cell production, increase skin turnover, increase collagen production, and therefore it removes fine lines and wrinkles over time. It also reduces pigmentation and it clears pores by reducing the buildup of skin cells. So let's talk about what I do during the daytime. So in the morning when I wake up, I do a double cleanse. I use the oil-based skin cleanser followed by the gentle or water-based skin cleanser. I then pat dry my face and then apply the benzoyl peroxide directly on any stubborn pimples that have come up either overnight or over the past couple of days. I then wait about 15 minutes or so before then applying moisturizer and SPF and that's my daytime skincare routine. It's pretty simple. At nighttime there are more moving parts. It's a little bit more interesting. There are a little bit more skin products that I like to use. So of course I double cleanse. So I use my oil-based and then my water-based skin cleanser. And if it's every other day or every second day, I'll apply an exfoliant. And be really gentle with this, of course, because you don't want to damage the surface level of your skin. You want to be very, very gentle if you are using an exfoliant scrub. It's a little bit different with a chemical exfoliant. I then will apply the benzoyl peroxide again to target those stubborn acne pimples and dry them out and kill that acne causing bacteria. After about 15 to 20 minutes, I'll then moisturize, and then have a shower. And after the shower, I will then apply my retinol. Bed. But I've actually been seeing a skin doctor recently and getting my acne scars treated. So I've been getting like microneeding and laser acne removal, which has been going pretty well. And if you guys are interested, then I'm making like a little documentary on that. 
to show you guys like a before and after. I've also been given a new skincare routine to follow by the skin doctor. I've ordered the products already and they'll be coming pretty soon so I'm probably going to make a little documentary on that too. So definitely stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Searching for the lost and found